Hi, this is Tamil Arasi. This video, I am going to show you uh, a project based learning methodology. Like, uh, this is a PHP program. I have created a HTML form for uh, online examination with a few questions. So, uh, in through the HTML forms, whatever input we give in the PHP, the results are computed and the results are stored in a database and it is retrieved from the database so this is the scenario i have taken so this we are going to implement and i'm going to show you uh, how you get the results okay how the values are getting stored in the database and how uh, you can retrieve it uh, from the database so this is uh, a project based learning so for uh, database connectivity, like uh, the input, I am going to give it through the HTML. So if you have not listened to the database connectivity steps, uh, uh, please refer to my previous video. So this is uh, the HTML form. So uh, in the HTML, in the body, uh, I have created a form. So uh, in the form, I have given uh, the seat number okay and a text box uh, to receive the seat number then name name of the student uh, then i have taken five mcq questions yes or no type of questions so whatever answer i give i'm going to validate this answer and i'm going to print the results through database connectivity okay so this is the html form so you have to uh, type the uh, form elements so this html this file should be stored with the .html extension. So I have taken the file name online exam. So uh, for executing, like I'm going to implement using exam. So I have installed exam. So inside the exam, you could find a folder htdocs. So in this location only, you have to store. So you can see here, I have stored the a html file okay you can see it is a html document the file name i have given online exam so this consists of the form elements i will show you so this is the html form i have created with seat number and a provision to enter the seat number then name a text box to enter the name then uh, the mcq questions this is yes or no type of questions. If you want, you can choose any other question as well and a submit button. When I click, give the values and when I click on submit, it is going to uh, submit all the data into the database. Okay, so this is the HTML part. Now we will go to the PHP part. So again, you create a uh, PHP program. So I have taken um, uh, like, so here I'm, I have taken the host, the, that is uh, what is the local host, then username, password, and whatever database you're going to create, that database name, you have to mention it here. So I'm going to create the database in the name demo. Okay. And uh, as I told you, for creating a database connectivity, first you have to create a connection, then you have to create a prepared statement, and then you have to execute the query. This is the steps involved in creating a connection. So this one, first for creating the SQL connection, MySQL uh, connection. Okay. And uh, this is the logics I have written. So uh, we have got the uh, seat number name and what are all the answer the user have clicked in the html form that is retrieved and uh, we are going to validate the answer here for each and every question i have taken two marks so if the answer for the first question is yes then uh, we are going to uh, give two marks and the answer for second question is no and the answer for third is yes fourth is no and fifth is no so if uh, uh, the user enters these answers, uh, correct answer, uh, you, he will be awarded two marks. If not, uh, he will not be awarded the marks, okay? And if the total marks is above six, we consider that as pass and else it is fail. So this is the logical part. According to the scenario, you have to write the logical part. 
then next is uh, we have created the connection now we have to uh, insert the values into the table so for inserting the values uh, you know the sql query is insert into this is the table name i have taken demo is the database name and exam is the table name i have taken and i am going to uh, in, insert seat number name the total marks scored and what is the result whether pass or fail okay so these are the data i am going to insert and uh, when it comes to the uh, display of the output i am going to display uh, in the table format so for that i have taken the table tag and then in the table format i am going to display the seat number name total marks scored and the result so this is the logic so after uh, displaying the result we are going to close the sql connection okay so this is the php file you have i have uh, stored it in the name online exam db stands for database so i have taken online exam database so the file should be saved with dot php extension okay so i now i will show you how to execute so for executing you have to open exam i am going to uh, execute using exam so you have to open exam control So now you have to start the Apache server and the SQL server. Okay. And so you before executing the PHP program, you have to create the database. Okay. So first I'm going to create the database. The database name, as I told you, we are going to take the database name as uh, demo okay so i'm going to create the database so here i'm going to give the table name in the program i have given the table name as exam so i'm taking the same name and we are going to store seat number name total and result so we are going to have four columns so i'm going to create with the four columns okay so whatever variable name you have given in the program the same variable name you have to take let me take seat number seat underscore number is the variable name i have taken so i have to take in the same name seat number it is an integer data type let me take the size as 20 then it is the name maybe it is a bar care data type maybe of size 50 then let me check what is the third variable third variable is total and the fourth one is result third variable is total and the fourth is result okay result is going to be pass or fail so i take it as value size so to take integer size so okay let me take it okay so after you give you have to save it okay so now we have created the database and we have created the table with the uh, four uh, field that is seat number name total and the result now you have to open the browser and you have to type localhost slash the file name dot html so now this will be executed so i am giving the input seat number 12 uh, name tamil and i am giving uh, the answers for the mcqs and when i click on submit see here the connection is established then the records is inserted and we are inserting the values uh, the name seat number total marks and the result okay